So my three tips for educators would be one, that when you are trying to improve your practice, when it comes to family engagement, that you have to really examine your core beliefs about your families. How do you see the families in the community? Uh, do you uh, look at them through a deficit lens that perhaps you don't see that they have strengths or do you look at them as assets, people who have knowledge and skills that you really need to be an effective educator? The second tip, it would be that change the communication from being about negative news or bad news to positive news. And so I always say to teachers especially, make those first phone calls home, especially at the beginning of the year, about positive information or text things about what the child is doing that's good. A lot of families tell me that the only time they hear from the school is with, with when it's bad news. Uh, and then I think the third piece would be to really think about making those communications about academics and not about discipline. So it sort of goes with number two, but more specifically, when you're talking to families, let them know what their children should know and be able to do. Families really want to know that information. They don't want to just know that Johnny's been a good boy or that Susie, you know, is, is, is nice, because a lot of my families say that's the kind of feedback we get where your child is nice. They want to know. What should they know and be able to do at, uh, in, in October, in, in January, in June? And they want to help you get there. So I would say that those would be the three things, uh, the three tidbits uh, that I'd like to share with educators of how they can uh, do something different with their families.